At the age of 60, Jose Mourinho or Jose Mourinho feels like it's over with a club career. He has gone ahead to manage very many clubs and he's now wanting to coach the Brazilian national team. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? It's a Tuesday, 28th of November, 2023. And hope you guys are really having fun wherever you are. Rokan David remains my name. Hope you guys are really having fun wherever you are. And this is the channel that brings you your latest news as far as your football world is really concerned. Today, we are talking so much about the coaches. We are talking about Jose Mourinho trying to obviously be into that mix to become the Brazilian national team coach. Then, we're also having a story of Antonio Conte coming back from the holiday that has been having ever since he left the side of Tottenham Hotspur. Where is he going to be going? I'm obviously going to break that story here. And Graham Potter is another one who's going to have to turn down a very huge job for a national team that has some good players. And he says he still wants to really be at what we call the club career. Smash the like button, comment and share. This is the Football News Show. And we thank God for the gift of life. The Muslim is Barak Laufikum. And we are here to obviously bring you what we think about the stories that we want to obviously bring on to you. Now, this is, um, he's known as Rafael Reis. He comes in from Brazil. He has gone ahead to break a story that Jose Mourinho is offering himself as the coach of the Brazilian national team. The Portuguese coach has come to realize that the doors of the European elite have really closed on him and that the days he could choose between Real Madrid, Chelsea, Inter Milan and Manchester United are behind him. That is it. That is it. And I think Jose Mourinho is really taking a very good side with very many teams are really vying in to get in coaches of his level coaches at the national team i think can obviously go ahead and obviously prosper there because the days when he was at chelsea and he was a hot asset that every top tier team was really looking for him are really over when you look at his career he was at fc porto and after the euros of 2004 he obviously came in through at chelsea and he really did a very good job his club career is is full of success let's all admit it's full of success because he had he was at benefica in 2000 2001 2002 unario leira 2002 to 2004 he was at fc porto 2004 to 2007 he was at chelsea where he obviously came in through and obviously broke the dominancy of arsenal and manchester united then he was sacked and in 2008 to 2010 he went to inter milan 2010 to 2013 he was at real madrid 2013 to 2015 he returned at chelsea for a short spell of two years then 2016 to 2018 he was at manchester united 2019 to 2021 he was at tottenham hotspur and 2021 till now he is at roma and it shows you that his long spell ended when he was at this Chel when he was at Chelsea for the very first time because when he came in through at Chelsea he spent there like four years but for the rest of his spells they've been really short-lived at Real Madrid he spent there three years Chelsea when he returned two years at United two years Spurs it was two seasons and then at Roma I think this is his third season at AS Roma and he believes that all what I was gonna hate to do in his entire coaching career he doesn't deserve to be there and he's offering himself to go on and be the coach brazil let's talk a little bit about brazil the national team <clears throat> brazil is not having a permanent coach the current coach who is doing the job there is acting as an interim and he has gone ahead to face very many criticisms coming in from the players of brazil because sorry the media of brazil and the players because they believe he's not doing well in the recent international break they've gone ahead to lose 2-1 to Colombia and 1-0 to Argentina at home. And trust me, when you lose such a game, you don't obviously be there. Carl Ancelotti is one of the people, the candidates that are really rumored to have gone ahead to really agree a deal with the Brazilian Football Federation to obviously come in through and really become the next big thing at the Brazilian national team. I believe in Carl Ancelotti, but <clears throat> when you look at him, and I was going to hate to really win, he's with really that manager that 
you would trust with your national team. But he looks like he has not gone ahead to make a decision on whether to call it quits from the club football or go to the national team. But Jose Mourinho, to me, I think, if he is managing a national team, he can obviously win trophies there. Do you know why? A national team has a variety of players. I mean, look at Brazil. It has a variety of players. And right now, when you look at the kind of players that Brazil are really having, they can obviously go ahead and really do a job for Jose Mourinho. For example, Gabriel Magalhães at Arsenal. You know, Marquinhos. Look at players like <clears throat> Casimiro, uh, Bruno Gimares, you know, uh, players like Vinicius Jr., players like Rafinha, you know, players like Gabriel Jesus, players like Richardson, and very many more. Because when you look at that side of Brazil, all they need is a manager that understands European sides. Mourinho is a manager who can obviously build what we call a juggernaut to obviously go on and obviously knock out very many teams. I was telling someone like two, three days ago that what failed Brazil to proceed to go to the, I think, the semifinals when they are facing, I think, Croatia and they went to penalties, it's that when Neymar scored that beautiful goal around the 112th minute with eight minutes to go, if it was a very good coach like Jose Mourinho, he would have gone ahead to tell his people, let's pack the bus. Let's invite the pressure. Let's leave Neymar to lead that line alone. And we pack the bus. Let us make it hard for Croatia to score against us. Put Casimiro, Fabinho, and Bruno Guimaraes into the midfield three. And then let Neymar lead the line. Pack the bus. Make it hard for the likes of Luka Modric to obviously play. And then Brazil would have gone ahead to protect its lead. And maybe they would have gone ahead to gate, to gate over that. But trust me, they did a very big blunder and they really knocked out through penalties so i really understand that uh Mourinho doesn't match the style of play that brazil really wants but which kind which kind of manager is brazil going to take there if at all calancelotti is not yet decided you know he has one of his foot at real madrid and one at brazil he's undecided and i don't exactly what he really thinks about the national team job of brazil but jose Mourinho is offering himself and trust me if it's to win trophies at the national team i think Mourinho can win them but not with that flair and aroma that supporters of brazil really do want and let's all admit it's very hard to find a top tier team in world football right now when they're really playing that tiki taka style of play that is it you know, I think the only team that is stuck into that is Spain, you know, and it last used that tiki taka to win the Euros and the World Cup in 2008 and 2010, respectively. But nowadays, what are they offering? I think nothing. So, I think if at all you need to really win the World Cup, I think Mourinho can come, come, can him through and really assemble you a team that can win the World Cup. So, I don't know what your thoughts are about that, but I believe. This guy can come through and obviously get the job going for Brazil. But wait and see whether Brazil is obviously going to give him a go because they might not be wanting a kind of player like him. Now, the other story is coming in from Afno Bledet. And this is really one of the huge sources coming in from Sweden. Confirming to us that Graham Potter has turned down the chance to manage the Swedish national team as he wants to return to club management now Graham Potter you all know him very well from Brighton to Chelsea where things really went wrong and it looks like he wants to go obviously and really be at the club level not the national team we remember Sweden is really a very good side but it's not obviously one of those sides that uh, you you would love not to coach because it has some good players Alexandre Ishak, Victor Lindelof, Anthony Elanga, um, which other good players? Sweden has some good players, by the way. They have some good players. And uh, if at all you're having a coach like uh, Graham Potter, they can obviously get some good, some good football out of that team because of the style of play and how he obviously knows how to really give these players the best that they deserve into their playing positions. But 
but the problem is the decision you take now affects you on the next club job you're going to get it's very hard for teams to sack managers at the end of the season most of the teams sack managers in the new course of the season and i think he is really here to see to it that there is an opportunity in the Premier League for a manager that is sacked and then he comes in through, you know. But who is going to be sacked in the Premier League? I think this is the league we've gonna the season we're gonna hate to see when we are nearing the first half of the season and not and I think no one manager has been sacked in the Premier League. So he might be expecting that maybe teams like Burnley might sack company, maybe teams like Luton might sack their managers, but it looks like every person owning a team is taking to his manager no matter how bad the results are. So for Graham Potter, is trying to wait for the opportunity to obviously seize on it. But it's really very hard. It's very hard. And even when a team from France came in through that his knees to obviously give him a job to manage the side, he turned it down, meaning that he is really inward looking. He's not outward looking. He's looking for an opportunity in the Premier League. And I don't know whether he's obviously going to get one because you never know what might happen. But in the summer transfer window, you'll obviously anticipate that he might get a job. If at all Carlo Ancelotti crosses to Brazil, Brighton won't be having a manager and maybe Graham Potter might be recruited again by Brighton because he knows exactly how to do the job at Brighton. But, but right now, things are not going on as planned and wait and see how he's obviously going to get fixed in. Because when you look at that table, I don't see any manager getting sacked. I don't see any manager getting sacked. All managers are serious and their teams are really performing to the levels where they deserve to be. So smash the like button, comment and share. If you're only watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And lastly, let's discuss something concerning Antonio Conte will be the head coach of Juventus in 2024-2025. There is already an agreement in place. That is Lario Radio Radio coming in from Italy. Oh, guys. So, he's returning from the holiday, from the break that he had from Tottenham Hotspur. Ever since, I think, last, I think it was around this year in March, all February, I think it was around in March, he came out and obviously ranted at the board of Tottenham Hotspur and they obviously had to part ways. After parting ways, Tottenham Hotspur, really Britain and Potsakeglu, he's really doing well. But for the previous three games, he has been really losing them. But for Antonio Conte, he has been waiting for a big job like this. It is on the table and looks like Allegri is not having a chance to really play part into the season of Juventus. But you never know how things will pan out at the end of the season if at all he really gives um juventus the scudetto then why obviously show him the exit door so if there is an agreement in place that will be good for antonio conte as juventus really vies to get back to its winning ways and obviously lift trophies as they used to do so guys thank you very much for watching through tell me your thoughts about Mourinho offering himself to the brazilian national team do you think brazil need Mourinho? All Mourinho needs Brazil. What do you make about Graham Potter and Antonio Conte having gone ahead to agree a deal to become the manager of Juventus next season? May the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslims, Barak Laufikum, Rokan Devi remains my name. Don't forget to subscribe. We out.